feeling a little rusty. This is our confession. <laughs> I feel like I'm making like a confession video or something. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's something about this setup. It's just out of my comfort zone. All right, guys. What's going on? Nate and Sutton back with another video. And um, man, it's been a minute, huh? A long minute. That's how all of our videos start out. It's like, I man. Know. It's been a long time. <laughs> Um, we are here at the beach in South Carolina. It's a beach that we've never been to, and we've just been blown away. Um, yes, for everyone that's been asking, it's called Harbor Island. On Instagram, we have gotten endless messages oh, like, where are you, where are you? It's Harbor Island. If you're looking beautiful. for like the most underrated spot near Atlanta, goodness gracious. And the water is not like the Gulf Coast of Florida, but it's uh, very quiet here and just so like, where is everybody kind of thing. Yeah. It's our kind of place. Our kind of place. Um, <laughs> anyway, we decided that we're going to make a video today about our update with YouTube, our plans with YouTube. Yeah, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you saw that we posted a post about like all these hateful comments, which we've talked about them before, but we've never actually showed you what is being said. And some people were saying, like, oh, this is probably the worst of the worst comments. It wasn't. That was just one day. Like, just one day, I just was like, I'm just going to screenshot these. It, that was, like, happening every single day. So it wasn't like we were picking the worst ones. That's just kind of what it was. Yeah. With YouTube, I've been on YouTube for a while, even before Sutton. Me and my brothers had a YouTube channel. And I've just been used to the YouTube hate for, like, the last 10 years. And it's, it's something that you know, has not really ever bothered me that much, but it kind of got to the point lately where, you know, Sutton's waking up every day to all these endless amounts of messages, people telling her to leave me and what a horrible abuse. Not that it affects me at all. Yeah, but like what a, a horrible abusive husband that I am and all these things. And I'm just like, I don't know if that's the best thing for our marriage for Sutton <laughs> to be waking up to that. And then I think about our kids like growing up you know, do I really want them seeing that everyone on the internet thinks their dad is like some horrible parent, dad, and then who knows what they're going to start saying about them. Um, so it's just one of those things I'm like, I just don't know if it's really worth it, you know, for our, it was the kind of environment I want our family to be around. But uh, in the meantime, I think we're just really going to take it one step at a time. And I think um, where we're at now is that we're going to continue making videos uh, but more so on a like gone a God prompt basis, I think like when we feel like God really lays something on our hearts, you know, to hopefully share with people that will be uplifting and encouraging. Because I mean, that's all our intentions has ever been on YouTube. I mean, we're not here to like, I don't know what some people think we're doing making videos. What our intent intentions <laughs> are, but our intentions have always been to uplift, to encourage, to sow seeds of truth, love, and inspiration. Uh, sometimes we might not get it right, but that's just part of the journey, you know? Yeah, before I think it was like, oh, we have to post every week and it has to be at this time. We have to come up with topics and it was just a lot of pressure and stressful and it like, it lost the fun where before I felt like we were doing it kind of like he was saying, like on the prompts and like, oh, I'm excited about this. I want to talk about this. But then over time it just became like this pressure that we just didn't really like that like we didn't yeah. want to be forced into doing it we wanted to do it for the pleasure of doing it and like to genuinely try to help people instead of like oh we have to do this we have to post at this time because that is just a little exhausting yeah yeah i think there's i think there's this force you know um spiritual battles is a real thing i believe uh things going on that we can't see every day but i think there's a real force behind uh, YouTube in, in specific where people want they don't want to see Christian influencers win you know it seems like there's a strong attack on Christian influencers yeah there's been we've gotten also countless messages about that documentary where Nathaniel made a, like, a little blip in the what is it called ha shiny happy people yeah shiny happy people a lot of people have told us about that as well um, and that was just one of the examples of like you know trying to make Christians look bad trying to tear us down but I really feel like if we were to stop YouTube altogether, it's just kind of letting that stuff win, which is really sad to me because I just think that would make God sad. For those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, theirs will be the kingdom of heaven. Also, another step we've taken, which I thought was a great idea, actually, you guys gave us this idea, is turning off our YouTube comments, which we did that, mm -hmm. and also limiting our Instagram comments to being only people that we follow or that follow us can comment on our things, and that has made 
the world of a difference because it was literally people that don't know anything about us that don't follow us they would just see a video of us and then seek us out on instagram to just say their mean comment and go on their way Mm -hmm. so as soon as i turn that off i'm telling you we haven't had one hateful comment since i did that wow Wow. so that has been refreshing so thank you for that idea that was great yeah great suggestion also the youtube comments it's a it's a battle of like you know the bad ones are hurtful but also the good ones are very uplifting but i also feel like that could be a problem too you know like if your ego gets boosted or like oh people really like me or something that's also not a good thing so i just feel like turning off the comments altogether was just such a great suggestion yeah ultimately we just want to be following the prompts that we feel like god is giving us and if that is to make a video on something then that's what we're going to do um, but outside of YouTube, should we give another little update about us? You know, we, yes, we, we finally have a crazy life right now. Yeah, <laughs> so we sold our house. We're out of our house. We've been out for a few weeks now. We've been Airbnb in while our new house is being built. Uh, it's going to be ready in about two weeks. So we got about two more weeks of on the road living. Which that's been confusing mm-hmm. to some people. It's not a house that we're building. It's just a house that was already being built. I think we said this in a previous video just like one of the cookie cutter homes that they're all kind of the same and it's currently being built but it's not like we're building it you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah so we have decided to make a major lifestyle change as you probably saw coming in some of our most recent videos about selling our dream home and all of that um that was just such a learning uh, such a an education what to go through that experience of buying a home that we thought was a dream house like something that we always wanted and then you get there and you realize that yes it's nice but the at, at what cost at the cost of that burden of a payment like how much a house like that costs and what that does to you spiritually how much you have to work to upkeep that payment and now we sold it because I feel like over the past year, God had really showed me the power of debt and the spiritual implications that has on a person and getting out of debt completely. And now we're fortunate enough to be able to buy a home that, yes, it's a big step down as far as the size and all of that as what we had before. But a but, big step up in quality of life. <laughs> yeah, in quality of life because for the first time ever, we do not have payments, which is something I'm so thankful for. But they don't just live in large. It's been so nice. Like at the beach, he works for an hour in the morning and then he's ours for the rest of the day, basically. Yeah, I tell you, I'm so, I'm very just thankful to God that I feel like I've, I've come to this realization so early in my life because. <clears throat> he's going to write a book, he's told me the other day. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I did have a dream about it though. Um, but just that, you know, how much, how much, like when you have all these payments, you know, when you have all this debt. The amount of pressure that puts on at least me as the uh, the husband, the dad, to provide. provide, like it just puts me in ultimate work mode. Like every day, I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh, like I have all these payments. We have to make all these payments. If we don't make all these payments, then we're gonna who knows what's gonna happen. So I got to make all this money. I got to work. I got to work. Got to work. But now it's like um, we don't have any payments. We're just <laughs> out here buying our groceries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any. Like we don't have any payments. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, we have expenses every that everyone has but as far as like you know the big recurring things, like the reoccurring big house payment the, the car payments like all of that that weighs on a person now it's just so freeing knowing i really like i i don't have to make nearly as much money as was as we once did and now i can use my time to spend it where i think is really fulfilling which is things like spending time with my family and living uh and having more time and space open in my heart and mind for god uh, and not being so consumed all the time um, with just work and making money. It's been it's been a complete life changer. For both of us. Yeah, and I, I just am so thankful because I think when I look back on my life, I'm not going to be so concerned about how much money I made, but more so about just the time freedom that I was able to spend it with my family and my kids, especially when it mattered the most. You know, when, they're, when we're young, when they're growing up and they're learning because they're not going to be here forever. Yeah, we were talking about that, how there's a time in your life, like if you really want to bust your butt, how everyone has it backwards, like you, everyone's like, oh, I'll bust my butt now so that I can retire and then be free. But really, it seems smarter to do it the other way around. Like you're free when you're young and when your kids are young and you can spend that quality time with them. And then when you get older and they're grown and moved away 
and married, then if you want to bust your butt, go ahead and do it. But it's so hard. He was saying, like, he's like, I could not train my brain every single day to go hard, go hard, go hard. And then you just retire. And it's like, okay, turn it off. Now I don't have to do anything. Like, you would still, it would be, like, wired in you to want to work. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't want to come off like... um I'm saying that other people are doing it wrong. I mean, if that's what you feel like is best for your life, then that's great. But I do feel like our society kind of preaches this agenda of, yeah, work hard, work hard, work hard. Like it's the only way. Yeah, and then one day, one day you can retire and really live your life, you know. And, um, yeah, to me that just hasn't resonated well. I mean, I'm a big believer in work, for sure. Like, I think working is great. I I love working hard, but... Um, the amount is just where I think I had it really mixed up for a while and um, yeah I mean I don't know I'd just rather sp- I would rather uh, spend my time now when I'm young and uh, vital to with my kids and my family <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also I feel like our situation is very unique where we're very blessed that we can do this because mm-hmm. Nathaniel's kind of set it up that way and the jobs that he's chosen and the things that interest him where some people you know, they can't just, they can't just be like, oh, I'm just going to take off three days a week or whatever. Um, But I would encourage you to just know that there are jobs out there that you can do that. I don't know what all of them are, but I just know that don't, just don't feel stuck. Like if you're doing something and every day you're not liking it, don't feel like you have to be doing that. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of things out there to do. Yeah, I mean, and we have worked really hard for the last 10 years like I, I think I've worked very very difficult I mean very very hard the past uh, 10 years and, um, and that's what really set us up to be able to do this like if yeah. you if, if that hadn't have happened then I don't know if we could be doing this yeah yeah so I think everyone can do it it just might take some people longer than others yeah it's not like a flip of a switch like it's a plan and it's gonna take time yeah, to the, get there. The biggest thing is, is I think putting your life on hold and thinking like one day you'll be able to, you know, retire and not have payments and all. I think that's just the, the mindset shift is, can be huge there. But anyway, I think that was pretty much it for this video, right? Yep. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be praying, seeing what God lays on our hearts to hopefully share with y'all. And um, thank, for, thank you all of you for, that have been so supportive to us amongst the hate. Yes, um, it means a lot. And we're just praying that God leads us and guides us, and hopefully you get something useful out of our videos. All right, that was Nate and Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was our life and YouTube update.